Tree to the Toe Tree. Spun. Kotori? Huh, that would be two. No, Tachi. Su. Huh. Anyway. I'm doing something very smart. Or very stupid. Or it could be stupidly smart. It could even be smartly stupid. I've got assignments. I haven't done them yet. They're supposed to be on Monday. I still technically have plenty of time. Eh, whatever. I'm not a legal advisor. There's an update. Well, I'll have to deal with all my dailies first. You know what? I may as well open up Tuho as well. I need a charger since I'll be downloading some stuff for school. It's just programming anyway, and programming is fun enough. school tomorrow and I just want to have fun on Sunday man <laughs> right, I may as well download is that what I said I would do first before doing the assignments oh, and there's an update on Toho as well right fuck mm -hmm. <laughs> Don't be seeing any of the other stuff I do. Obviously, those stuff are supposed to be confidential. I pirate stuff all the time, but since this has to do with my living, I may as well abide to the loss just this once. Speaking of the law, did I ever finish telling that story I tell, told? I was telling. Well, I was, uh... <coughs> playing Zelda. It's the story about me doing the whole dance, freak here dance thing. <laughs> this out as well yeah <laughs> ah we got three new characters and I have no money wow really those are your maintenance rewards The extra stages are available now. No, oh, those two are back. Alright, since I'm out of I'm out of steel crystals anyway, I can focus on just leveling up my characters again. I wish I had the guts as well. That's the luck of Toryu.
but I knew college life was busy. I didn't expect it to be this busy though. And I'm still able to do, pl I still have plenty of free time. But uh, somehow, my real problem is the fact that I am not spending my free time the way I want to. Or in other words, I am not having fun with my free time. Which sounds impossible. <laughs> Considering if I'm doing it in the first place, that it's, it's supposed to be something I'm enjoying. But I'm like, oh man, I could be, I could be doing this instead. And that's definitely more fun. As if that's something that can be quantified. Oh, look at those fumos. So, I'll be doing Sino's quest so while doing my programming activities and stuff. But first, I must deal with all this shit. Oh my god, there's a survey. How's Nilo gonna be anyway? I swear, if she's just another Hydro healer, I am going to piss. Now let's go to the arena. Oh my god, X dear Flandres in the arena. <laughs> survey first oh all three of them are in the exact same thing huh I guess that means they aren't that good You know, I have 50 crystals. May as well, let's do a single 10 times. Why not? Oh my god, I got three characters. I got Mike Or Mike. Lol. And Ramelia and Moku. Cool. And Jolty and Accuracy up. And I guess that's good, but it's in a... It's only available via this thing, so... And there's plenty of other cards that do agility and accuracy. Alright, let's see what Mikkei has. Lots of elements. Metal and star. That's cool, I guess. Solo, accuracy, and evasion up. Ooh, party spirit up for her other spell card. More light and star. Get more metal and star. Hard scaling and her last word. Metal and water. Lots of party buffs. Uh, wow, yo, she's... She's actually really good. And I do need more metal. And she's providing. Epic.
came out at the stage 6 bot, final boss, total 18. Alright, that's a pretty good first spell card. My party spirit power everywhere. No breaking potential though. She's an attack type through and through. And then the extra stage boss, what does she have? She's a destroyer. Six Earth Solo. Then Metal and Earth Combo. The Poison Barrier Break. At P2. And then for her last word, it's all metal. Now that's metal. She's a Yin though, and Yin's are just weaker than Yang. By virtue. Oh yeah, so I wasn't really paying attention. Mikke's Yang. Yeah, she's Yang. Cool. Chimata and Momio are good, but I already have characters uh, that can do what they can do already just fine. And I, it's not like I can get them anyway. <laughs> I don't have any room for friends anymore. Why? I can't even get friends in the arena. Anyway, I got a Moku, so. Oh my god, I got two Mokus. If I get another Moku, I can get my Moku to level 100. so I can get another X tier begins again. Ah, do it look like I pay attention to that? I know it's barely enough for a 10 times, that's for sure. Thank you. 
internet What energy? Certainly very mentally fatiguing. The whole plotline with Razor was literally unnecessary. Why can't we just have a normal celebration for once in Genshin without some stupid subplot happening? You're fine. What the hell are these? Transparent buildings. I saw some of those. I don't know some of these. Oh yeah, the abyss. Ah, uh, that was actually everything. A 
expecting your last word later. <sighs> oh, hey, you Masahiro Sakurai video. Dang it, I can't watch it while recording. I don't wanna. Transfer is a glitch in Breath of the Wild that can make you do many things in the game. It can allow you to get the bulk light, you can easily duplicate materials, you can get weapons that have attack over 200 or shields that have shield guard over 200, you can get bows that shoot 10 arrows, you can even get a shield that has zero friction. And there's so much more in this glitch, and at this time of making this video, they're still discovering new things. This glitch is very complicated, I'm going to try to simplify it so normal people can understand it. So maybe you've watched the video on the glitch and you're here to understand how it works or maybe you heard of it and you want to know what it does uh, or maybe you just week. like my videos and you're here to watch it. So to be clear, I'm going to explain and simplify how the glitch works overall. So I'm not going to specifically teach how to duplicate materials or get the bulb light or add modifiers, weapons or things like that. But once I was able to understand the things that I'm going to tell you, doing those specific glitch easier to understand. With that said, channel I recommend going to is El Duende 5 He is basically the only one really covering this glitch that I know of. Uh, and he's doing a good job, so I would say go check it out to make sure you can see how to do those specific things. And the very last thing I want to say before I explain anything, if you've done the glitch and you pretty much understand it well, uh, feel free to leave comments in the comment section uh, explaining some tips and tricks that you did because it can be very confusing and uh, we would appreciate it, of course. And if you have questions, also ask them in the comments. Maybe your comments might not be replied to, but also maybe they will. I think I have a nice community, so I think they'll do it. The first thing I would like to mention, it said that this glitch can corrupt your file, all right? Just know that yes, it can corrupt your file, but if you close the game completely and you open it again, everything will go back to normal. So after you do the glitch and things mess up, just don't save it. If you mess up, something bad happens, close the game, and everything will be back to normal. Next, I want you to realize you actually have multiple save files, not just one. When you go to your load screen in normal mode, you'll see your manual save, and then you'll see multiple auto saves. And if you're playing master mode, you have one manual save, and then you have one auto save. Yes, these are two separate files with just multiple saves, but I want you to kind of consider them as separate files just for now. It'll make sense later. So let's keep that in mind, and we're going to leave that off to the side. So to do this glitch, we're going to use one of these saves, and let's put that over here in the middle. Let's call this save A. So on this file, we're going to do a few functions, a little, a little glitch combination, and we're going to create what's called an offset. An offset is basically a number. The game will keep this imaginary number until you completely close the game. This is why you can do this glitch between multiple files in your game, uh, through master mode, through normal mode, and even a new game that you start. After we create this offset, the items in the inventory of file A can then be moved to file, let's call it file B. All you have to actually do is load file B, that's it. So from here, again, the offset is still on. So if you're on file B and you open another file, file B stuff will go into that file. Does that make sense? You're with me? If you need to pause, rewind, do it. It's confusing, but I think I'm doing a good job. Thumbs up, if so. Thumbs down, don't do it. All right, so that's the general way of how IST works. But let me now explain how to specifically choose which items go into from file A to file B. So we're gonna think about it like the game will transfer one item at a time from in the inventory, starting from the right of the inventory. So it would transfer the key items first, and then the meals, and then the materials and so on, depending on what you have. <laughs> For example, this file from the right of the items are the Ancient Saddle, Traveler's Saddle, Traveler's Bridle, Korok Seeds, Spirit Orbs, and so on. If I create an offset of three, the first three items from the right are the Saddles and the Bridle. So when I no load another file, even if it's a new file, I will have those three Let the items. show begin. <laughs> Absorption test. Out of the frying pan, into the... Born of ice and frost. Again, the off 
offset We're will turn off until schedule. I close the game. So the first three items starting from the right, I have the slate and the two saddles. So even if I switch to this normal mode file where I'm still on the great plateau, <laughs> It will add just the two sounds because the link can't have more than one Sheikah slate. So like I mentioned before, this is a simple way of explaining how the glitch works. So why is it complicated? How do we duplicate materials, get the bow of light, Next and add the modifiers to weapons? First of all, it's complicated because of the, some of the functions you have to do. You have to overload the menu, which by now isn't that difficult. Then you have to create an offset, and the offset can take a while, and you have to keep track, and you have to count and do numbers, and really wants to do math. And there are consequences for doing We're way behind, Skip. For example, Boba, get this them. file, if you want to transfer all the uh. key items in this field, because I need to create an offset. Stand clear. I have seven items. Animal test 6308. And the next eighth item would be this meal. After I create the offset, let's say I want to transfer all these things back to the same file. And you can do that. All I have to do is reload this file again. Notice how it transferred the Korok seeds and the spirit orbs. Now I have I two stacks of them, and you cannot get rid of these unless you use them. Or you can use them before doing the glitch so they don't get I don't transferred. Wanna forget the, the good games news, I wanna the items play. that can't be stacked, like Anime, the slate, manga. the paraglider, saddles, they so will get the transferred, but they will just replace the ones you have. So you won't get duplicates of those. And the other I have plenty of backlogs for this one, but I feel like I want to ride a new one. And Koroks, but those take some extra more steps. Version, so if I you guess. want to transfer materials, all you have to do is create a large enough offset to I don't know why I'm all like the key it. items, possibly you materials, are not and whatever you want to No touching! Starting from the right uh, of the let's dance! Absorption test! Animal test 6308! Absorption test! Nice and spicy! Born of ice and frost! And then create an offset of at least 26. So that way I can take all my key items, because there are 25 key items, 5 on the right page, and 20 on the first page key items, and then the giant Come on, focus! Items. Access denied! I'll create the offset of 26, then I would reload this file again, and then I would duplicate the giant agent. Animal test 6308! Now test my patience! I'll create an auto save so I don't mess up my main save. Then I can transfer the giant ancient cores again to that auto save. And now I have more giant ancient cores. I can do this a lot until I get the amount I want. Then I can finally add it to my main save if I wanted to. However, because I have Korok seeds, it may become a mess. But then again, like I said, that's for another video. Okay, now the way to duplicate weapons, bows, and shields, like the of light or the master sword you basically create an offset large enough again that takes time it involves math but large enough to cover all the key items you don't have to cover the meals and the materials because you can't just delete those and then the equipment you can also delete that and then create an <coughs> offset to cover the key items all the way up to the shields and or bolts and or weapons however the problem for this one is that there are equipment that you cannot sell so those equipment will get duplicated and you'll be stuck with them and they'll take up slots on the inventory. Again, there are ways to do this, but like I said, I'm so sorry I'm making you do this. You should watch another video, but I just want to explain how it works. And finally, the coolest part of this glitch is adding modifiers to weapons. Explaining this is kind of weird. You have to create 60 meals and the last meal's effects will transfer onto the weapon bow or shield which will then translate into attack up, guard up, shield surf up, or durability up, 10 shot into one of those things, which is kind of like weird to say. But also, again, you have to create enough offset, which again takes a while for the key items and the meals, and then up to the shields and bows or whatever you want to do.
Again, as of making this video, there's a lot of experimenting happening right now. You can go to El Duende's Discord or his uh, YouTube channel, and I think there's almost infinite things that you can do with this. Like I said, there's a lot to this glitch, so I thought it was really important to do this part of understanding the glitch as a whole first. Well, now I hope you kind of understand what inventory plant transfer is. Now, go have fun. See you next time! Six, six, a deadline. Oh, here we go. Oh, now we're gonna watch. Here we go, baby. Let's watch it. Let's watch this. This is it. Woo! Where's my Oscar? Let's see that sweet face. Are we even gonna see the face? We're gonna see the face. I want like two friends. No! Bye, boy. What did I do? Why? <laughs> hey Card Gamer, I'm the Lucky Carter, and this is Devs React with the man, the myth, Daniel Mullet. Mostly a myth. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm Daniel, uh, I'm the creator of Inscription. Um, we're really excited to see this speedrun. I have never watched an Inscription speedrun at all, so this is hugely exciting. For one thing, we start off, like, with a weird Not view, like, you're looking down instead of straight ahead. I don't know why that happened, but the bugs are already starting. <laughs> this is gonna be wild. Still on the agenda? I, I have no idea how this is gonna happen in 12 minutes. He's got 13 minutes. He's got an eternity. <laughs> and also, like, the music is weird. The music is different. Like, this isn't your music, is it? No, this is not what it's supposed to be playing. This is like the part three music. Uh, oh, interesting. But the game audio is still there. Like, yeah, there's game audio playing, it's just like the wrong yeah. music. How did that happen? <laughs> <laughs> the game just like had a seizure to really quick. It's all it's like with the, the cursor, it's still like the sacrifice cursor. The game is like, it's catch up. Yeah, like it seems like mid-sacrifice the battle was ended, right? Because there's the two blood, those two little tokens at the side. Oh! That, that's when you're sacrificing stuff. It's, yeah. it's a little detail that they show up to show how many things you need to sacrifice. <laughs> and so, apparently you can just end a battle by, like, sacrificing something and then freaking out. Dude, this is wild. It's like, the game is sped up, but it's, it's not. Yeah, this is just real time playing. It seems like somebody put this in Premiere and just... You know what's interesting is that it's on the lowest quality, so like graphics quality setting. I can tell because of the pixels. Um, so I wonder if they, they get like a tiny bit of extra speed because they're like the lowest quality graphics. Oh, so you're playing yeah, yeah. like slightly faster. faster? Yeah. Oh, interesting. Um, it's... <laughs> I thought I'd have more time to like process what I was seeing. <laughs> Too, um, nope. <laughs> yeah, no, I, I can't even. I don't even know what's going on. There's the there's the tooth pull. I would have thought that that. No. Watch it some other time. I haven't been out in a while. Don't you remember your adventure plans, my lady? This is a Joy-Con. It's got a lot of functions. You can press buttons to do certain actions, you can move the joystick to control the character, you can not move the joystick to control the character, there's gyro and motion controls, HD rumble, which lets the rumble be more immersive, and of course, the IR sensor. Who could forget this little thing? Nintendo can. I can. For sure you did. The IR sensor has to be one of the most underutilized gimmicks that's built into the controller for any one of the consoles. Aside from the one where you can like play with two BUs on a Wii U, I don't think a single game used that. Anyway, the IR sensor. This thing kind of acts like a camera of sorts. It can see the distance that it's from an object and recognize what kind of objects they are, like certain hand gestures and stuff like that. The Switch has been out for five, close to six years now, and so far, at least according to my research of like one Google search, there are only 11 games that use the IR sensor to any capacity, and only half of those games are actually made by Nintendo. 
That begs the question, why even include it in the first place? It seems like it would really do nothing but increase the price of the controller for no good reason. Did they have more plans for this behind the scenes that just never came into fruition? Maybe. Well, since we're talking about it, it'd be weird if I wasn't talking about it. Imagine clicking the video on the IR sensor, but all I talk about is just the function Thank you for like the or something. Let's go ahead and look at some games that use the IR Add Astra Let's get the out of the way first. The ones that only really use it for like one small thing. It's not even really worth it in the first place. Ring Fit Adventure. Out of all the games on the list, uh, this one's the only one that I actually own, at least before making this video. After doing a stage, you can check your heartbeat with the IR sensor, and that's it. I'd say I'm pretty impressed with how accurately it's reading the heart rate. I don't even really know how it's doing that. One, two, switch. For being Nintendo's launch title, it's amazing how easily forgotten this one is, especially since it was supposed to show like what the Switch, specifically the Joy-Cons, was all about. Of course, because of this premise, one of the mini games used the IR sensor. It's the one where you eat a sandwich, the thing detects whether or not your disgusting, foul mouth is open and registers as a bite with the game. And that's the only one out of 28 mini games. This thing was 60 bucks at launch. Resident Evil Revelations, you can reload the weapons by covering the sensor. It basically just acts as an extra button, but instead of like pressing, you just cover it with your fat thumb. Najala, I remember this game. You can use the IR sensor to unlock cosmetics for some reason. I literally have nothing else to say about that. Why? Okay, so those are all kind of the novel uses out of the way. The rest of the games use the IR sensor a little more depth than just an extra button. Did the Joy-Con not have enough of those? These games aren't that complex. Game Builder Garage. It's a game where you basically can just create games, as the name suggests. And you're not an idiot, you can figure it out. And the IR sensor is including the things you can use. You can use it in a variety of ways. This guy here used it for like a security system, that's pretty cool. You could probably do other things, like make a race where the first person who passes the Joy-Con wins. That'd be cool. Just simple things. Smile Basic 4 is basically similar to Game Builder Garage, where it's a program you can make games, except like way more complicated. This includes the IR sensor for your game, so that's cool. Pretty much the same as Game Builder Garage, though. Brain Training for Switch also uses it for some of its games. Mostly just limited to just reaction time, like trying to quickly match the gesture on the screen. This game hasn't been released in the US for some reason. Released in Europe, but not here. I guess it's revenge for the last entry taking five years to release over there compared to here. After that, we have Spy Alarm and Night Vision. They're both shovelware games, so they aren't too interesting. Night Vision is literally just that, Night Vision. Nothing more. No game modes or anything. Ten bucks, please. Spy Alarm is basically just an intruder alarm. You can set up the Joy-Con as a camera, and if it detects something, then it'll have the switch sound an alarm. So you can use this to have your home always protected with your own game console until the battery on the Joy-Con dies. Ten bucks, please. Alright, the last game that uses it is Vitamin Connection. A game made by WayForward, and it's pretty cute. Now, unlike the other games, I actually went out of my way to purchase this one, because, for one, I couldn't for the life of me figure out what the IR sensor was on this for. They listed it, saying something about, like, being able to measure the distance on mazes, but I have no idea what that means. And there's no other article or video talking about it, at least as, as far as I know. So I actually had to buy the game myself to figure it out. Thankfully, it was a game that was, like, actually good, so out of all the games I'm forced to buy, I'm glad it was this one. I've been hard pressed to spend the same amount. Here comes the cat. So I sat down and I played it, and I still couldn't figure it out. Nothing in the game seemed to use the IR This is long overdue. No touching. Life is so I then discovered it wasn't working because it was a cover the sensor and extend the claw. I went through all that and it was basically just like Resident Evil. It's like a pseudo fight for the rest. Oh well. Nintendo Lab. It's a game that requires a lot of cardboard to play. I'm having so much fun right now. It's the game, the games, that use the IR sensor. The most extensive one. It's probably the main reason why it's included to begin with. There are plenty of things you can build that use the function, like a piano. The sensor can tell which keys are being pressed. And then there's this one where you control this little thing and you can use the camera to tell where you're going. The Toy-Con house uses it by looking at differently shaped blocks you insert and telling the game what to do depending on where you insert it. It's pretty cool, actually. The Toy-Con motorbike can make stages based on what the camera sees and forming the terrain around it. And you just know that someone made a track by scanning their, like, dick or something. The entirety of the third Toy-Con 
Toy-Con kit with the vehicles uses the IR sensor in a similar way to the Toy-Con house, where it's able to see what parts you pull and turn and registers the appropriate action in the game. It's the kit that definitely uses the IR sensor in the most depth out of any of the other games or just anything really. These would just not work without the IR sensor. I'm pretty convinced that Nintendo Labo sets were probably the whole reason why Nintendo added the IR sensor to begin with, since it's absolutely required for this. Unfortunately, as cool as Labo was, you really the biggest success was the drop down to the VR kit, leaving the IR sensor to the entire thing. So it's just kind of there. We're way behind. Blaze over. Yeah, that's never gonna happen. Next on the agenda. Match the, yeah. Like trying, like trying to. Quick, Next on the agenda. Like trying to quickly match. Seconds. Good lord. Yeah, I guess. Okay, this is just like a straightforward, like, he's gonna beat every boss. I thought there might be this thing where, like, the bosses would just get skipped over entirely somehow. That's the only way I could imagine, like, this 12 minute thing working, but I think it's just. Maybe there's like 
certain contingencies they plan for. Like it's like, oh, okay, well if it's like not the ideal one, then this is like this is the route to go. Because there seems to be some hesitation in a few parts. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Ah, uh, hey, you're in the VC. Yes, I am, Rusty. Nice. So, how's life? Have you been playing Genshin stuff? I bowl. I only played today so far. I'm this gonna week. go play today. Nice. It seems to be only playing Genshin once a week now. <laughs> nice. Anyway, so the events. Are the events about to end? Because I should probably do. Yeah. Uh, of Ballot and Bruce is going to end soon. There's also the Anthony Kiki again. We also you? get 10 free calls on, this, on events. I don't know why, but we are. Things are about to get dicey. Oh, no touching! So yeah, uh, Sino and... Sino and... Oh, yeah, yeah. <sighs> Sino and... Razor are definitely going to be there. I guess. I have some assignments, so I decided I'd do them uh, while a story quest is happening in the background of Genshin. Uh, so far, I'm just doing my dailies. Begin the spaghetti. Okay. Did I do the Hakan and Iki? Well, I'm really I'm open, I still debating uh, about that. Hello. 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 So. So, ka. so, so. So, da ne. So, ka? Eh? That's a joke. Uy. 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 Let us get in. I can tell you. me. And it is taking forever. Nice. Yo. Mm. Yo. It should be fine oh. if I set if I yeah. copy them to the EXT file, maybe. I don't know. Okay, can I do that? Like I, I need we need to send the code, that's the assignment we gotta do. We can't just <laughs> use <laughs> that means file for some reason, I think. <laughs> I don't know. Even though Ooh. we have lab we have <laughs> access to the computers. Uh -huh. Next school weekend next next session anyway. <laughs> We're officially in the midterm now. Midterms. Ah, they get more. You're so heavy. You're so big and heavy, huh, eh, Shelby? Success denied. Blaze over. Right here. I am it. alone in the room Let's dance. of gloom <laughs> and terror. By that I mean just my sister's room. Oh. So, I'm opening up Genshin now! Nice. Yeah. How's life? What are you doing? Doing artifact domains and then maybe happen in Iki as well. You mean the finale domain, yeah? Yeah. I'm gonna need to finish up everything in the fucking wine event. The fucking monster one. Yep, it'll take you about an hour, not counting the story, in which case two and a half. 
Yeah, if I skip through all the story, do you just give me the summarized version? Mm -hmm. Uh, Razor wants to make wine so he can remember his parents. And his parents are from Sumeru. Yeah. Oh, no, terrible. they're just generic ass gotcha. fucking green adventurers. Like, well, why is he related to fucking Sino? Like, do you see the markings, the tattoos? No touching. What do you mean? Why is. Huh? There is no connection between him. We're waiting. Resting. Look at the character archives right now. Then go look at Tiny and then look at the Razor. Look at the gauntlet, the gloves, there's tattoos. Well, the event does not confirm whether or not they actually are. They are related. They both have fucking dog like fucking, you know, after with Electro. Razor is a pure human. He's not a. He's not a wildebeest or whatever the fuck you call the half human, half animal hybrid people. And nobody, nobody said that Sino is a wildebeest. Speaking of Sino, I'll be, I'll be doing a story quest while doing my assignment. Long. Okay. While That's also right. playing Toho. Lost word. Peak efficiency, baby. Peak efficiency. Uh, it's. Finest and you know, never know. You are not welcome. Here comes the catch. I like how one of the enemies say, You're not welcome here, and while the girl is just welcome, welcome. Time to go. One of them really just wants to let being there while the other's like, Yes, please come in. Come well. Gotcha. These men do not know how to have fun. Sorry, anything new? Invention? Have you like explored any of the better to play anymore? I haven't had the time to explore anything, man. If you're gonna explore, we should probably like. Open up the interactive map and just go find all the dendrophiles first. Yeah. Also, on Monday, the Abyss will reset again. And we get Nilo. I don't want to do it! <laughs> and then Nilo will become available. And then, well, obviously, the we will. five star banner. Yeah. Alongside her is. I forgot. Another five star character. I forgot who um, they are. Obviously, we will be building, right? Huh? You won't be pulling, right? I obviously will not be. Especially if she turns out to be another fucking... Never mind, she's out now! What is she doing? <laughs> what does she do? Cryo, get sent to tell me! Um, what the fuck? Uh, hold on. Let's go see she... what she does. Is she a buffer for our time? We'll see. No, oh, it's been a while. He's a fucking engineer. What the fuck? The banner was. That's cool. Where's the Yaku and Nagi? Yeah, I I keep telling you about that. Lotus Sorno, ah, that's. Arrowette. She's a five star. Ah, wait, there's only three characters. The hell? I know, right? That's pretty strange. Wait, what, are, what the heck is your weapon? What? What the fuck? Sword. How does that work? What the heck, you only have a three hit combo for a sword? <laughs> I guess it's not Wait, that important. Wait, uh, that's uh, why Beidou is the only rate up. Four star. It's Shang Ling is one of them, right? The four stars? And Barbara? Key of the suit. What? The what is the fucking weapon there? Higher damage than your based on HP. On pirouette, ah. normal attacks and elemental skill will cause her to enter mm. sword dance. Her sword dance. seems really good for Kuki Shinobu. Not be overridden. It's right, an elemental skill. I'm still reading it. How? Why the fuck do you read so fast? Her sword is really good for Kuki Shinobu because it gives oh, the fucking. Oh, you're looking at her weapon. I don't care. Yeah, uh, you should get that sword, Resty. The jade no. cutter. It's sword. No, I no don't like. I have enough primos. 
Yes, you do. You're gonna get enough paints to guarantee the two, the two hundred for Nahida, anyways. Yeah, I'd rather so play it safe. Wow, what a pussy. <laughs> yep. I, it took me the entire 250 to get my fucking first ever EX tier character in Gen in Toho Lock Word, man. What? I have no luck. What the hell? Her E. What the fuck does it? Huh? Oh, her auto attacks turn into water. Yeah, that's what it. What? That's what it seems to do. Yeah, uh, there's another difference though. Like, you, you can use your E, no right? No charge attacks allowed. Hmm. She has a fucking different E thing, and it gives an AOE on around her. What the fuck oh does it do? Oh my god, there's so many durations and stuff. I know. All right, burst. She has an AOE thing that puts water on enemies around her. Yeah. She's a support, right? Kinda. I think she's a DPS. I don't think she is. She can be a support, I think. And all characters in the party are all Dendro or Hydro. What? Whoa! Her burst seems pretty good. And there are at least one Dendro character and one Hydro character. The completion of the third dance. That what? So she's she's purely ba she's purely a blue a hyper bloom uh, base no, character. Bloom, regular bloom. Uh, yeah, just normal bloom. Hyper bloom is when you put electro. Just because of her first <laughs> passive. Yeah, Only I don't think she's 1, a... 1,000 above 30,000 HP? What? How much HP do they expect us to have for Nilo? 50? What? So her third attack when she has water form turns into a water blade. Yeah, I'm not getting this character. She fucking sucks. She's a hyper-specific <laughs> DPS. Hyper-specific DPS and support. Is, so, if you press your E I mean, to treat. He's not in a force, he forces you to play with Dendro and Hydro characters. And nothing else. Rusty! Look at your goddamn fucking E. Tap it three times. Yeah, it's only for three times. Yeah, if you trap three times, it fucking does. You only use water thing. If you hit, use your E and then auto attack three times. It does a different thing. <laughs> Yeah, she's... She's not, I don't even know what kind of team I can do for her. But in the first place, there's only two de Dendro characters right now. Or actually three. I, I don't count fucking... Sophia. Okay, hang on. So... Alright. So, three, two, three. attacks. I don't see the point of target attacking with her. So, no. Yeah, there's no target attacking for her anyway. Well, she is in pirouette state. Normal attacks and elemental skill will cause her to enter the sword dance and whirling step stances, respectively. Causing damage to the earth, no matter how you damage, don't be overridden, and that is the pure elemental skill. Sword dance, the leash illuminates and leaves the hand jams for the touch to grant Neil as a lunar prayer effect. That's the AOE water, right? Let me at least see this. Yeah, so if you use the skill, oh, elemental uh, skill yeah, tree type. physics. Those are some really tight clothes. She... If you go you use the tree skill attacks, she has an AOE water thing around you, like Barbara, but wider. Yeah. Well, she's both a DPS or a support, depending on what team you go for with her. But like... I think, Rexy, I think she's more like a burst support. Yeah. You use her E quick, you burst use your burst and then you thing. Hmm. Huh. Begin the dance for her. What would be the good artifact set for her? Dealing AoE hydro damage based on Nilo's max, Nilo's max SP and applying the lingering Aeon effect to all opponents hit. After an enter, while opponents affected by lingering Aeon will take hydro damage. Yeah, she seems like a shitty 
DPS support. Yeah, she is. Like, what the fuck? She has no Jago physics. So, no, I'm not getting her. I don't understand the point. Yes. Freeze. I believe Yoimiya has a competitor now for world's shittiest character design. She looks cool, but that's about it. Right? Eh, I don't agree. Ah, her skill animation looks great, but that's about it. We have no standing. What do you mean? Oh, so sorry. You her fucking skill animation too good. I say you dumb. I don't know, she just seems like a shitty version of Hayato. The water slash thing, you know? Hayato? Oh, Hayato! Yeah. I thought you said Hayato. Like, huh? You mean, like, you mean like the child from Jojo Part 4? There's no H, no. it's Hayato, not Hayato. <laughs> yeah, hey, he's, Ayato, she definitely just seems chill. like a worse Hayato. Yeah, and also a worse Mona. Like her burst is like basically Mona. <laughs> yeah, she's low tier trash. Yeah. Is Thank you for giving us three what modes. What with this trend that Genshin's doing, where they release terrible Hydro characters during their anniversaries, and that's when you get your free ten times. <laughs> when was the who was the ver what? What was the previous Hydro character back then? Kokomi? And then, I mean, and then they also come right after. And then after them comes the fucking Archon. Like after yeah, Milo was going to be Kusanali. After Kokomi Ooh. was... <laughs> they cracked the code. You fucking make bad characters before the Archon so people will all pull the Archon and the sales will go up. What the fucking fuck? It's always fuck. been like that, right? Yeah. <laughs> And why does it have to be Hydro? <laughs> you know, Resty, if they're smart, they would have just made every character good. So people would just pull regardless. Indeed. Like what I call stonks. Moments of birth. God damn it. What is the Stupid ass shit. Nice and spicy. Stupid ass shit indeed. Have you finished Albedo's trial? Uh, almost. There we go. So, Albedo trial. I kind of, I kind of want to get him, but nah. <laughs> Kusanali is better. Yeah, same. Even actually. though, so I can finally have use for the Cinder Bar Spindle. Yeah, I know, and it's not just that. I mean, like, just Albedo in general is good, even with just, even without that weapon, Resty. Yeah. You could just I use want, the fucking. I want more. Remember Geo. the sword. What? Remember the three star sword, the fucking harbinger of dawn. Yeah. This looks still a good fucking weapon for it. I guess. Because it's crit rate. It's crit rate and crit damage for free. And you don't need to have him in the fucking field. Remember how that weapon works, Resty? No. So, Harbinger of Dawn. If your HP is 90% above, you get free crit rate. Or crit damage, whatever it was. I see. And uh, the passive, the the free stat on it, you know the stat that you get on the weapon, uh -huh. it's fucking crit, something crit. Time as well do the happening EP and then I'll do Varka story. So yes, yeah. okay. Varka I meant Sino. Harbinger Dawn is just fucking great <laughs> because Albedo doesn't need to be out on the field, so he definitely will not lose nine. He won't go down 90 HP, 90% HP resting. Yeah, I guess. And even if you do put him out, it's only a quick short time, and then you know, you probably have a crystallized shield on yourself. And the best part about him, Resty, is he gives free elemental mastery. <laughs> yeah. Just by being the elevator. And then the next thing, Resty, the elevator also does damage. <laughs> Good damage, the explosions that it does. 
And you know what's the best part, Resty? You don't have a shield unit yet. That's, you know, a shield unit that can do good damage. Like my Zhongli. And I Albedo fit up pretty well. I guess. Hmm. Do you believe in the 50-50, Resty? No. Yeah, and if you don't believe in the 50-50 and you lose on Albedo, you get fucking Nahida <laughs> for free. Guaranteed. <laughs> I guess. Also, what the hell? I completely forgot that Albedo's fucking trial only has six enemies. Like, one enemies per. Fucking dumb. <laughs> Hey, yo. 18,000. Yeah. Hey, yo, the pizza here. <laughs> there's this ve there's this fucking image, Presley, that I saw. <laughs> so uh -huh. it's an image of a piano stair. Like, the stairs <laughs> are uh -huh. like... The steps are like a piano, you know, like the keys on the piano, and <laughs> they put the fucking J Station Pizza Here sound. Uh huh. And then when he fell down the stairs, you know, <laughs> they just played the fucking like <laughs> old school classical music. <laughs> I see. To symbolize him falling off the stairs. Yeah, it was great. <laughs> Only the OGs would know that, because, you know, the old, new, fuck, younger people don't know the fucking, Hey, yo, the pizza here! Wow, we sound like, bo I sound like a boomer, right? <laughs> you sure did, just now, yeah. I was gonna say that, but I, I, I didn't want to, but uh, you recognize it on your own anyway, so it's all good. <laughs> yeah, we are not the one at fault, it is the fucking younger generation, right? <laughs> Yes, L plus ratio or whatever. L plus ratio plus no bitches plus 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 get rested. What? 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 What do you mean what? Get yes, rested, what? bit. Hey yo, master does the snowy peaks. Uh, do we need to go to Dragon Pine and kill the snowboard king, Resty? Is that for the final hunting part of the event? I guess, I think, yes. Hey, yo, the pizza here. So, what are you doing? Like, yep, looks good. what's Let's your do this hunting? Yeah, like, what are your assignments? Oh, Work. just programming. Nice. Fun enough, simple enough, easy enough. Are you sure? Because it and sounds like you're depressed. It's not too complicated you yet in the programming. We're still using very... console, for fuck's sake. Yeah. Anyway, so what are we supposed to do in the strong. hunting ship? Out of my way! Uh, it's different all the time. Where are you? What, you what, can't what run. part of the event are you doing? I'm on the giant snowboarding. Yeah. I'm uh, supposed to use traps. Yeah, you gotta use the trap and then you can deal lots of damage with the hunting net. How do I use traps? What traps? The ones around the field. I don't know, it's real. It, it took me a while to understand. It's, it's really stupid. Okay. There is no escape! Trap set up is about to complete. The field is huh? lit! What's that? Dog over here, bitch. Okay, so you're supposed to fucking run into the lucky bits. Shine down! Yes. Torn to oblivion! 
There's another way to do lots of damage to them, but I forgot. He needs to charge you with the hunter here. Ah, uh, yeah. Born of ice and frost, blaze over. That's me, bitch. Yeah, get shit on, dude. This is easy. <laughs> Too easy. I guess. Especially with me knowing what you're doing now. Like me. You never know what you're doing. Time for your arraignment! Crap, set up. Now, fuck you. Charge me, bitch. With sword comes shadow. Enhanced animal module 70. Don't break my glasses. Stand clear. Animal test 6308. It's amazing Stand how clear. you can step on our steps and not get hit. Cut to the really. chase. The moment of all time. Attack me, bitch. Stand with me. Yeah, bitch. Get trapped. You fucker. Die, bitch. Light. One more. No, I'm only doing a hundred. Right, These are about to get dicey. I'm just going to be able to do one more time. Fire, fire, yeah. pants on fire. Fire, fire, pants on fire, rest of Wow, oh, he charged me like an idiot. He's dead. <laughs> time for a light show. Wait. Capture progress, two out of three. Is there supposed to be a timer on how fast we need to catch it? Yes, you gotta capture it at a certain speed in order to get all the rewards. There is and no if you escape. catch it in Inazuma one run, like, you get all the three rewards. No, I didn't understand what I was supposed to do for the first. It took me a bit. Out of the frying pan, into the fire! So, uh, I eventually got this it on my first try. It Third? took a while. Yep. Good try. Oh, there's a smoke machine. They didn't even notice. Yep. Born of oh, ice and frost. Yeah. I didn't know there was a smoke machine. Motion to compel. It's a um jury. Two, three. So you can only hit three nets before he wakes up hey. and you know start to fuck you over. World, mark two. Yeah. Absorption. I should sleep. And rage me, daddy. Hard to do. Eat shit. Ow. Nice. Uh, Charge me, bitch. Two. Three. Charge me, bitch. Oh, I said, Charge me, not do the rainy ice thing. Then you're gonna do anything for me. Bitch. Oh! Yo! I didn't know that. So, if you go in the smoke screen, he loses sight of you, right? Uh huh. And then if you hit him, it does the big damage one. Because <laughs> he's not enraged. <laughs> ah. Well, that was the second try. <laughs> so, what are we doing again? Why are we. Hunting boars. Also, have you finished the fucking like stall thingy? The the food shit. Yeah, I got it. Yeah, was it, was it hard? Not really. Just I'm really long and take. boring. I know. <laughs> How many tries did it take you? Uh, I don't know. It took me a couple of cycles. A couple dozen. You needed to redo cycles, Rusty? No, I thought that's what you were asking. No, I was asking I you if you like... I was asking if you like didn't get the thingy, like the goal money. That, that's possible? I don't know, maybe it is if you're, you're fucking dumb. <laughs> Which I know you are, but... <laughs> I'm gonna do that one last because that's annoying. <laughs> 
I should still fucking finish the goddamn Aaron Aaron. <laughs> <laughs> and I need to talk to the Yaku and the Niki. <laughs> yep. God damn it. <laughs> Event details. So, what the hell is this? Endurance test. Where is this? What do I need to do in the endurance test, Tresty? What do you mean? What endurance test? I have no idea what you're talking about right the now. The fighting event. The fighting event? Hyakunin Iki? No, the other one. In the months, that one. Uh, I don't know. You <laughs> yeah. well enough. The one in Dragon Spy. Ah. Yeah, I don't remember. You're on your own. You should be easy, you know? Let's roll around. Chris, I want to burst down. I don't remember anything, period. Let's dissipate. I need to collect the ammo ground? What's that? Time to go! Yeah? But what for? Where are the Alamo Granite? Quietly now. Things are about to get dicey. Draw's over! Fire hazard! Damn it. Let me we need to collect the Alamo Granite and get some more there, Annie. Real good. Mind your fate. This is Go fucking down. boring. Yeah. We're just killing all of you. That's already on the regular auto, my... My cup was only just with a hundred and something K damage. A hundred and sixteen. Nice. Yeah. Imagine, imagine not getting Zhong Li, like the rest of you. The... Where did... What's wrong with you? I am very smart. Yeah, imagine if you had Zhong Li, you won't have to fucking worry about all that anymore. I guess. Is that how you do nothing to you? You won't be ever afraid of fighting him ever again. You know that? Maybe. Huh. 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 Yeah, no, the, 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 the word false just seems kind of pop, you know? Absorption test. Can you also Incoming. stop yourself in very pop? Nowhere to hide. Do you like saying pop for no reason? Judgment. Uh, no. Yeah. Stand with me. Right now. Why? You can't run. I don't know if you Out of my way. Oh. Hulk is such a nice word. Maybe. Gotcha. Game is up. Fun's over. Well, um, we're in the good snowboarding area. But we already captured it. Pyre, pyre, pants on fire. Oh, there's Ruin Guard When did that happen? When did Ruin Guard get here? Ring cutter. Huh? Yeah. Hazard. Fire hazard. Yeah, you'd think for a fire hazard, the fireworks with your idea shoots with the OE, you know? Because if that's a fire hazard, then how does the fire spread if it doesn't even do area damage? For Rex Mathis! Yep. Yo, you may be a fucking liar. That ain't no fire hazard, that's a fucking matchstick. Yes, a worse version of it. Uh, didn't see access denied. Motion to more effective as a weapon than your immediate motion. Yeah, I know. A matchstick is way better at setting things on fire than the your shit. Indeed. Huh. How embarrassing for your Mia. <laughs> Truly, the embarrassing of all time. Why did you sound Indian for a second? I know, probably because I'm still trying to talk weird thanks to my canker sore. 
you st you have more cankers or now? Amazing. I sure do. I sure don't have the last that again. Available for today that I want that I to do. Oh, tomorrow's the last day. Mm -hmm. Cool. What do you keep doing canker sores? Also, how about your friends in school? How are they? I'm interacting well enough. I don't think you are. <laughs> I think you Me are lying. But I don't think I've made any progress. Uh, sort of what you'd call a lifelong friend or whatever. <laughs> ah, a lifelong friend. There I'm too introverted <laughs> to try making my own friends. I'm wait. I'm waiting for people to come to me like you did. <laughs> come to you. What do you mean by come? Did I wait for people to come to me? No, you sort of force your way into my life and I just kind of got Accepted along with it. it. And maybe that's what you need, people to force this up into your life. True. If it weren't for me, you would still be alone, not in the Discord or anything, right? Yeah. <laughs> I, cause I am the only one that talks to you. I don't even know why I talked to you in the first place. <laughs> we were like group mates that one time or something, I think. I don't remember, man. <laughs> For a computer project. I really don't know. <laughs> I, don't, nice. I really don't remember. I remember those things vividly. They're an important memory to me. To you, it was just another day of you hanging out with friends. As a fucking, you remember the fucking Inside Out movie? Uh, as that movie said, it's for memory unlocked. <laughs> <laughs> Rest of you will never forget that, apparently. I sure won't. Well, I have forgotten it and I, I feel bad. Yep. <laughs> and don't worry, we have times like that where we like, Remember something vividly and we think it's so important, but for someone else, it's like, oh, that happened? I guess it did. I don't remember. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that happened? Ah, you're gonna murder you now. <laughs> nice. Yeah, I watched a banshee. Ban banshee? <laughs> what? Huh? Uh, a what? I watched a bunch of uh, manly badass hero fucking playthroughs again. Ah. Just cause I haven't been watching him in a while, so yeah. Yeah, uh, he's Pretty the good. perfect thing to watch. Well, yeah. Ah, uh, yeah, I watched him play that fan game made by the person that made uh the game where you play as a girl without any arms. <laughs> what? <laughs> it's a fan okay. game where Manly fucking tries to kill you. Ah, yeah. By girl without any arms, you mean it's a guy wearing. <laughs> nah, the creator of the fan game made a nut, made a game that Manly already made a let's play of. I forgot I know. what it's called, but the main character doesn't have any arms. It's a fucking guy. It's not a girl. It's a guy in a schoolgirl uniform, right? Yes, in that fan game. I'm talking about the uh, an official game. Ah, yeah. That the creator okay. of that fan game made. It's referenced in the so, bit in the freaking shit itself. I need to go find all the feckin' blessings again. Feckin'. Nice. Sounds like, sounds like a slur. <laughs> yes, I'm sorry that you've missed him. A feckin'. If you say it like that, it sounds like a fucking like you're saying you you fucking can't. You can't. Yeah. All right, I need to go to Springvale and head south. Apparently, was it south or was it north? It, it's out. Is that clips nearby? Uh, can you tell me all the tips that you remember? Tell me the hints, and I'll probably uh, and I might be able to help. Okay, sure. After I find this one. This one is near Springvale. Said, talk to Draft, you know, the hunt, the greatest hunter in Springvale. Uh -huh. Even though we, we totally know we are the best hunters, right? We sure are. Like, look at my bag. It has like 20 million meat in it. <laughs> no cap. 
and I have so much fucking ingredients. I have ingredients from all over the place. All right. Huh? I got. Wait. Ah, the o it's the owner's gift. I see. Nice. Wait a minute. What? Why is the owner the huh? The owner gift? Why? I I I forgot. The owner's father is draft. Yeah. <laughs> Nice. Good job. Completely forgot about it. <laughs> By the way, what level is your event weapon now? Nah, I believe it's 70. Also, why do I have two extra sacrificial catalysts? Nice. When did I get that? When did I get those? Ah, probably when I was pulling for Venti's weapon. That's now level 19. Yeah. Love. <laughs> okay, the fucking event weapon is a spear. Yeah. What's your event weapon level? Quietly now. My level Here comes the Seven. Seven. You do good. But uh, I do have it up like on tangling right now, so it should be good enough. Maybe so, even maybe. Is it definitely good for shangling? Uh, I haven't been looking at the numbers, but I don't know. It seems good. I'm pairing her with no, you. Huh? Witness the power. Yeah. It gives elemental mastery in the attack percent. Yeah? Yeah. And that's what you want on a tangling support versus Yeah? Indeed. Mm -hmm. You do lose out a little bit on elemental mastery, but you know, the weapon effect makes up for it. Right? Yeah, it's very worth it. Yeah, maybe it's level 17 now too. We're way behind. All hail! What weapon is Tangling using again? Ah, Tangling is using the catch. Yeah, I can't really replace that. <laughs> now what do you have on Ball again? Oh fuck, you don't have Ball. Whoops. Yeah, I don't I have Ball. Yeah. I'll My get bad. her soon. <laughs> I don't I'll get her soon. When she comes around. True. Hopefully I win 50 50 on her. Now what the hell if is going on with Genshin? That's gonna hurt in the morning. Go on in! What about my Rosario? What's she? Illusion shut. My Rosario is using Crescent Pike, but what she's not really happened? a bit of a What's going on? Now you shall perish. Yeah, my Rosario isn't using Crescent Pike, but she's not physical DPS, so I guess I'll put that on her. Cut to the chase. Nice. Right? I mean, who else could use this? Elemental reaction trigger attack is increased and elemental mastery is increased. That sounds really good. You know, this... The weapon that we got from the Kazuha event is really unique. What the heck? Where did, where did the Microsoft document open? What the hell is going on, Gajin? You can't run! Anyway, Festy. Festy Banagos. Alright. Stand with me! Let me go. Uh, Judgment. Weird shit going on right now. My gift is on the cliff face at the waterfall on the outskirts of Springdale. Only the bravest of all shall attain it. Where is that? Huh? Ah, There's a waterfall Springdale. in Springdale. Yeah, Game's up. Yeah, the, the, the teleport we've done. Yeah. yeah. The outskirts of the waterfall? What do you mean? Mom, the, the fucking chicks are loud. I look so like a good deal. No, my sword. Obviously, Ray, you will. It's background noise for you. Let me... But no, not for me. Dogs are, though. I don't know. Dogs are weird. By weird, I mean the fucking Discord is weird about dogs. <laughs> Did you know? <laughs> Did you know? <laughs> what? Do you know Beluga Whale? They can sing. What? Can sing? Blaze over. Beluga Whale. Never heard of one. What the fuck's a Beluga Whale? Lord of Sand. Your beluga whales are ready. fucking whales that look like they're like relatives to dolphins. Not... I see. Uh, they have oh like a lump. Oh my god! I couldn't get a gold because for some reason my Genshin is lagging like hard. 
Yeah, Resty, uh, beluga whales look like they have a tumor on their head. Anyway, that's our breathing. Thankfully. Okay, the next hint says uh, I'll find the gift for Aroma Wap in Springvale. And that's on the cooking place, bitch, right? Ah, yeah. Okay, next. I left the present at the symbol of Monstat's hero. What? Who is Monstat's hero? It's not Venti, definitely. Oh, yeah. Ah, that's G. Uh, go to ba the big tree. Windrise? Yeah, that's the symbol of what? the hero. No, that ain't. <laughs> Bitch! That's just a tree. It was... I don't know. It makes sense, I swear. I forgot the lore behind the tree, but... That's where the dandelion knight or something, whatever, whatever. Dandelion bit. <clears throat> you, mo you mean the kinky shit? What? Okay. Inside the red adventurer's tent near Windri Windrise, where's the red adventurer's tent, Resty? Oh yeah, that one. Where? Alright, so the adventurer's tent. Near Windrise. Yeah. Hold on, let me... Let me open my map real quick. I still have Genshin open. I, what am I in? Nice. Yeah, hey, don't close your Genshin, please. And thank you. Alright, where's Windrise again? Big tree. Alright, it's where the big tree is. Alright. Where? Where? Go teleport to the statue of the seven. Um, and there. then go north. North. By north, you mean up. Yes. And where north? There should be there should be a camping site there. Hold on, let, I'm I'm looking for it as well. <laughs> I am very up north. I am almost near the teleport no the fucking I, if that doesn't work. Oh, uh, go teleport to the place near Mondstadt and then the lady that teaches you how to cook when you first start playing the game. Ah, uh, that's the camping site? That's okay. not weird. That's not. That's not near Windrise at all. <laughs> oh, wait. I, did, I didn't mean north. I meant south. You fucking idiot. <laughs> fucking hell. Yeah. Why do you keep reversing north, south, left, and right? <laughs> I sure do. You remember, I am the master of directions. Master yeah. of misdirection. Yeah, I just, go, just go south and then you should find a camp. Okay, sure. <laughs> Ooh, next, next thing you're going to tell me. Oh, it's, it's actually bit, left. It's a little bit to the west as well. So just keep Would going you be right. the west? Are you sure it's west? Yes, southwest. I'm going south. I'm going okay, south, go I'm south dad. I just for a bit. myself. You should... How did I dad joke myself, Resty? <laughs> I found it. <laughs> the gift is near the main entrance, Stone Winery. Okay. That's easy. <laughs> well, that was easy. What is this campsite anyway? What, what so what, what, what was the challenge that you weren't able to fucking gold medal? <laughs> mm, the la the la latest unlocked happened in Iki right now. I don't know why. I just started what? lagging like crazy and shit started happening. What's the gold reward? Eh, weapon enhancement material, so I wouldn't worry about it. I would. I want that. I have like 2,000 of them, man. I don't have that many. I am pleased with the best of dinner. I'm so hungry. South I'm of Dawn. Why, Why is it always south, man? What the hell? South of Dawn Winery. Right. Is this south enough for you? I speak of the devil. I'll be there. You're gonna go eat dinner now? Yeah. Man. All right. One hint I still remember very clearly. Uh, one that might stump you as well. Alright, so there's this hint where it says, remember to go back to the starting point. Go yeah, to the message board. Oh, the 
Ah, I see. I overthought that. I thought that was like Paimon who plays the treasure and she's talking about where we first started the game. Bruh. <laughs> Bruh. So I teleported to the start of the game. What the hell is wrong with you? Why, why would Paimon 